Today in studio, Engineering News is interviewing light sculptor CEO Fanny Nithling on the concept of sun harvesting. I'm Bimani Baloy. So Mr. Nithling, tell me, in the past two years you've been working on this sun harvesting system. So tell me, what is it and how does it work? Uh, sunlight harvesting is, uh, in the South African context, it's a, it's a new it's a new thing here. What, what happens is there is the sun is harvested by a dome which is outside on the roof and this harvested sunlight then falls on a lens that's just below and this lens mm -hmm. is now focusing the, the harvested light onto the workplace mm -hmm. without wasting any light that goes onto the walls or the ceilings or whatever. Mm. So, so the, the, the secret is to, to get as much as possible light, to not waste it, and to focus it on the workplace. Okay, with this shift towards uh, everybody wanting to have a greener building, a, a green environment, what are some of the challenges associated with this system? Look, uh, I think one of the things that, that we find as we go along is that uh, two years ago, nobody knew what it was in the country. But it is still a, a bit of a challenge because it is so new. It is, it is very often confused with, with uh, skylights, which is a, a slight different concept. Mm. Uh, in, in our case, it is to get the message through that this is a technique that uh, efficiently and cost effectively bring in daylight without bringing in any heat from the sun and um, and there are very big savings in some cases mm -hmm. between 50 and 80 percent of the the electricity used for lighting during the day mm -hmm. in the industry we can replace with daylight Mm. But obviously there could be challenges. This is a new concept in the country. What are some of the challenges that you've experienced so far in marketing the product? It is, it is a slow process. It is what we found is when we deal, we are very uh, uh, successful down in the Cape where we uh, are, have been taken up by the wine industry, all the uh, wine sellers, the, the smaller private wine sellers, where you directly deal with the owner who has to stand in for any electricity costs. Mm. These guys take it up immediately. We, in the agriculture also, with salad packing factories, in the food industry, some very big in the, uh, companies uh, have taken us up. Mm. But it goes a little bit slower in, in Johannesburg where we are dealing with the, with the very large companies. Mm. But, but we are extremely confident. Uh, we believe in our product. Um, and we don't really see too many uh, obstacles for us. Thank you. That was Light Sculptor CEO Fanny Nithling on sun harvesting.